What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Nola Garage. For those of you that are new to the channel, I'm Gartrell. I'm Christian. And today, we're going to be doing a little bit of work on the M4's exterior. Now, before we get into it, I just want to say some of the things that we cover are things like meets, installs, event coverage. Absolutely. And then besides event coverage, we also do like perspective things, so drives and track days and you know, things of that nature. Reviews as well. Yep. So, um, let's get straight to it. Uh, we got a couple goodies. I'm gonna go grab it and show you. So, uh, oh, Garfield said, we are doing something a little bit more aesthetic to the M4 today. Nothing too crazy. Oh, snap. Oh my goodness. Did you see that? Hold on, Garfield, get a little closer. They gotta see the, they gotta see the fire. Alright, so we got a Carbon, hold up, let me get this thing to focus. That's some carbon fibre. Oh yeah. Ooh. And this isn't the only piece. We have another one that goes on the front of the car, but we'll show you that when we get to that. So we're gonna show you exactly how to install it. I'm not an expert on this. Mm -hmm. Sorry that I'm out of the frame. I'm not an expert on this. I suck at when it comes to exteriors. Like I barely wash my cars, which is terrible for me to say that on camera. Chris holds it down. So he's gonna spearhead this whole thing. I am the student today, and he is Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> so the reason why Gartrell says that is, you know, I got a couple aesthetic mods on the Subi. You guys have seen the wing stands, the granny flap, all that good stuff. So I guess the first thing that I should mention when it comes to doing anything that you're adding to the car, surface-wise, you want to make sure you take the proper steps during preparation. This preparation is, is key, sorry. You want a clean surface, surface. so we're gonna go ahead and show you that right now. Okay, so just like I just mentioned, one of the most important steps in installing anything that has double-sided tape is preparation. Uh, what I mean by that is you definitely wanna make sure that you have a clean surface. It happens to be raining outside, so we're gonna go ahead and take a second to go ahead and wipe off all this water. On top of that, you're definitely gonna wanna make sure that you have some rubbing alcohol or anything that can take off any sort of wax or any coating that's on the current, you know, piece that you're doing, essentially. So on the trunk, you can see right here, we're gonna go ahead and, as I mentioned, wipe it down. Then we're gonna go ahead and take some alcohol, rub down the surface, make sure that it's crispy clean, and then I'll show you what comes after that. One eternity later. Alright guys, so one thing that I did want to mention, on top of cleaning the actual surface that you're mating into, in this case, Gartrell's trunk, you also want to clean the surface of whatever object you're applying the double-sided tape to. So in this case, the carbon fiber duct though. Um, like I said, preparation is key, so you definitely want to take your time with this. Don't rush, it's not worth it. You know, you don't want your stuff flying off. You go take it to get washed if you're driving on the highway, so. So now we're gonna go ahead and apply the double-sided tape, which you can see right here, onto the actual uh, wing itself. Like I 
I said, take your time, there's no rush. I'm not gonna front, that was really, really satisfying to watch on my end. I don't know about you. <laughs> I was like, yo, this shit is like stimulating my brain right now. <laughs> so now, what I would do, real quick, just take a microfiber towel and take your finger and run it across the entire double sided tape. Make sure that you push it down enough that this way it sticks. And then we're gonna go into the next layer real quick. All right guys, so as you just saw, we laid a few layers of the double-sided tape, a couple in the smaller areas, left a little bit of runoff, so this way it makes it slightly easier for us to peel. Um, now, what you wanna do is you wanna check the surface. Definitely wanna check to make sure, A, that it's dry, B, that you don't see anything on it. Um, for, for the most part, on our car, we let it dry for a little bit, so we are good when it comes to that. The next step after that is peeling off the tape. Um, but before we do that, let's just, just gonna take a little quick look and test it on. So you can see the easy part about this duck bill actually is the fact that it matches up with the body lines of the car. So on the F82, you have these two trunk lines that extend from the roof and that flows perfectly into the two corners of this actual dug so it's gonna make it really easy for us to line it up. Um, of course, after we take off the double-sided tape, you have to be a little bit more accurate, so be patient, um, because there isn't really that much testing that you can do when it comes to trying to fit it on. It's kind of like line it up, stick it, and that's it. Because if you try to peel it off, then the double-sided tape is gonna lose its uh, adhering properties and then you're gonna have to redo it all over again. So this time you definitely want to take your time. So if you can see it's very very fine I'm not touching it with my finger but there's a clear layer of tape all over this thing so you don't want to touch it at all um, you just want to you know peel it off as quickly as possible and be careful when sticking it on because this is the real deal. Yeah another thing real quick me and Gartrell don't have all of our supplies with us currently, um, but what would have really made this super easy to take the other side of the tape off? Tweezers. So go talk to your girl, or talk to your mother, or whoever your female figure is in the household, and see if they'll let you borrow the tweezers real quick. If not, you can just go pick them up at Rite Aid, or CVS, or any type of pharmacy that's close by you. That will make it 10 times easier to pick up the, uh, the protective side of the double-sided tape. All right, let's get into it. Uh, just make sure it's lined up on your side. Like, so this edge is supposed to be right where the trunk line edges. So mine is good. Over Bring it down? Yep. Yeah. The edge? Yes. Yeah. Is it right there? Yeah, it's like right there, a little to the right. Little okay, cool. Well, all right, so. Hold it, start lowering. Lower your side. Mm -hmm. Good, I'm there. You there? Yeah, this is my spot where I need to be. Okay, now move it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lift your side, lift your side, lift your side. Stop. <laughs> this is that I suck. Ah! That's not, come on. Alright. 
the center needs to go forward like this. Right, right. Alright, so I'll just watch this down. Come on, bro. Come on. Let's see. Stop putting it down. Shit. Line it up. Focus it's on what you're doing. Come my way. No, there's a gap on this side. Alright, it's all good then. There's a small gap. Yeah, tiny gap. Alright, this is it. Oh, look. Line up. Yours has a tiny gap, bro. Come on, dude. Bro. <laughs> Mine has a gap on this side. <laughs> Rip, this is why you want to take your time, guys. Okay, you need to have the same gap on my side. How much gap? I don't see your gap. That's the problem. Tiny gap? No. Move it right there. Yeah, but yours is not going to have the same. Yes, it is. It's perfectly on the edge right now. Is yours perfectly on the edge? Look. Tiny gap, no. Okay, so now I need a tiny gap on my side. Right there, perfect, perfect. Tiny okay, tiny look at mine now. Yeah, but stop moving your right arm, dog. <laughs> no, my right arm is still, I'm holding it. Yes. That's okay, look at that side. Yes, tiny gap. Stick it. Push it forward towards the car. Hold oh, up. I have a tiny gap, right? Tiny gap. Yes, bro. Right. So you gotta make sure that this part is on too. It's not just yeah, the sides. Alright, now you gotta put it down. Look, check, check on my side first. That's tiny gap, right? Yes. Perfect, right? Yeah, literally <laughs> perfect. Alright. Alright, so now. Shit! <laughs> that was See, so guys, I told you. This is why you gotta take your time. Yo, I was like freaking out. And two out. people is like highly suggested. You could do it with one, but if you want it to look good, Alright, don't press on it too hard. You don't want to crack the carbon fiber, my guy. That was so nerve-wracking. I was like freaking out. I was like, yo, wait, what's a gap? What's a gap? <laughs> my guy said gap. What gap? You have a gap? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was losing my shit. I was not scared. I was like, no. This thing is going on, like, it's going to look like all lopsided. People are going to go into my car like, nah, he's don't have a gap on this side. I was going to be so <laughs> upset. I think it would be more upsetting for you because you'd see it. Yeah, I would see it every day. It would just, I would just be like, yo, that gap though. And he's not talking about the wheel well the fender. That gap though. He's a tire. <laughs> that gap though. <laughs> Bruh. So we actually have another part that we were going to install today and that's the upper bumper splitter and I'm just going to show you guys how it looks and get real close up. More carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. More carbon fiber. Can you see it? I think it's a focus. Yes. So it's the carbon fiber. It's pretty thin. It's also cost a decent enough amount of money. Also from the same uh, supplier. Mm -hmm. um, but pretty much we're not gonna install it. It goes on the upper bumper splitter right here. I'll insert a picture of it right now. Here. And it would attach to that part. Um, it looks very subtle that you can't really see it that much. Um, but I don't wanna install it just yet just because I have a little something special that's coming in about two to three weeks. Um, I don't think anyone really has it yet. So I want to see what this would look like with that thing. Right. Um, but uh, when it gets here, you'll obviously know there'll be a big reveal of it, and uh, we'll do an install. All right. Well, I'd like to think that you guys learned a little bit with installing the duck bill. Duck trail definitely learned a little bit. It's yes, very it's tedious. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you want to be patient with it. It's not something that you want to rush. And it's one, something that is a lot easier if you have a second person. Take your time, that is the key. Also, huge shout out to uh, BMW uh, Bayside for allowing us to use their yep. garage right now. Yep. Obviously, you see it's not the garage we're usually coming to you from. And uh, we can't thank you more enough. So, 
Come on down to BMW Thank you. Bayside. Come see me yep. at BMW Bayside. Shout out to all the squad that works here. And uh, like Artrell said, huge thanks to them for letting us use their space real quick. Uh, as you can see, it has way better lighting uh, than what we're used to. But anyways, you work with what you got. That's it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, we'll be see seeing you real shortly. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Instagram's in bio. Yeah, follow us.